This is beautiful. Wow. I'm gonna get to go down there. Okay, so this is like a town, and now we are heading toward like sort of a castle. That, well, the tree itself appears to be part of the castle. Okay, this is bonkers. Is that the ocean? That is the ocean. Oh my god. Wait, can I go up there somehow? Nah, I think we just go down here. Second or third favorite spot. Yeah, it's kind of- this is a little creepy for me, like all the water though. Oof. Let's go up here first. This is how you get up here. I, I thought you might jump, but... Way too high to jump. This is suspicious. Oh, oh an ancient dragon smithing stone. Damn, they're really throwing at them at a, throwing them at us now, huh? Nice. It's a fast elevator. Oh! <gasps> wow. Elphiel, Brace of the Halic Tree. Elphiel, it's a city. That's the guy he said, uh, take me to Elphiel. I thought it was a person. It's a city. So it really does sound like it's being presented as a as a paradise for perhaps the lost. This is Amazing. And the music. Wow. I was really hoping that was an NPC for a moment. Clean rot night. So, we already have some insinuation that uh, our girl, or our boy, Mikola isn't here because of Moog. But, uh, well, I wonder who could be here and who's associated with Clean Rot Knights. And I can't help but notice that this is the lands north of the Erd Tree, which we were told is where Melania was from Millicent. So. Ah! Don't say it in any chat. I'm just really excited. I'm just trying to enjoy this moment because, like, I've been feeling like we've been heading toward this for a while and a while and a while. Oh. I love that stained glass. I love this little chapel. What's this called? Prayer room. Well, that's what it says on the tin. Yeah, I'm so excited. Halig is old English for holy, sacred, pious, sound, healthy. Oh, I should have looked it up. So holy tree, sacred tree, makes sense. It's almost like a pilgrimage. Oh, uh, excuse me. I want your knight armor. Just for lore? But it's actually kind of interesting. <gasps> That's so pretty. Is that the Halig tree then? Oh, <gasps> there's an eye in there. Uh-oh. Remember what the eye signia is? It's Gideon. I I don't know that they're linked. I, I really don't. But, you know, whenever I see an eye now, I'm like, huh. Hey, gamers, are you uh, taking a break? Or... Wow, the intricacy of everything here. It's so delicate. I love it so much. Yeah, Torrent can't be here. Prayer room. I don't know what I expected, Doc. If yeah, yeah, no more bubbles, no more mean mages. Like, I know I'm gonna eat my words in a second, but so far this area is comfy. And I know I've been here for thirty seconds. Just, just let me have it. Just let me have my copium, okay? Yo, I bet the lore is that Torrent is uh, Leonard's older brother. 
Wait, Torrent is Leonard's older. Did I say vice versa? Torrent is the older brother of Leonard the horse. Oh, <gasps> McKellen Night Sword! Wow, it's definitely Faith. Like, don't don't get your hopes up, girl. But like, you know, just let me enjoy this this brief moment of <gasps> shiny new thing. I don't want to use new weapons. I like my new weapons. Mikkelin Night Sword. Faith, what a surprise! Sword forged by servants of Mikola of the Halig Tree, with a design modeled after those carried by Carrion Knights. Interesting. Instead of glintstone, however, amber from the Halig Tree is embedded in the blade. A sumptuous piece, yet it has never been offered to any knight, an ill-starred sword with no master. Dude, this is so much prettier than the carrion swords. I love this color. I love the amber. I really wonder. It looks like the cosmos. So that's that's like a a universe, right? Not not a universe. Um, a solar system. That's a solar system. The sun is in the center, and then outward go all the planets. At least it sure does damn look like one. You ring the bell? Probably not. No, this isn't Bloodborne. In Bloodborne, you could ring the bell. This is beautiful. Really wish it wasn't burning everywhere here, though, with the cinders from the Earth Tree, but that's the order I played the game, and I didn't know that would happen. Sag. Bloodborne confirms for superior game. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, what is the point of this? Oh! Oh! That'll do it. Well, that's unfortunate. Your contraption doesn't move. Got him. Bloodborne, you first saw it, not Dark Souls? Because in Bloodborne, there are these bells just chilling in the Chalice Dungeons, and you can jump and hit them with your head and they ring. You don't have to pull a magical lever. So if I could hit this bell and make it ring, then that would be more like Bloodborne than Dark Souls. I really like bonking them with my, with my head and making them ring. It was funny. Tree gauntlets! Gauntlets worn by soldiers sworn to the Halig Tree. This is really interesting, because they're they're sworn to the Halig Tree. It's like a it's like a um like a deal, like a pact versus You know, they they feel like real knights. The others all just kind of felt like a bunch of dinguses wandering around. You look fancy. You looked fancy. <laughs> I love this. I feel like the Landell Gauntlets. Yeah, but the lore, the lore is different. I just thought it was cool. Really, it's all the same. They all wear the same outfit, they look the same, but they have different um, outfits, like insignias on their chests. But I just like that little change, that little detail. Oh! Glad I went down here. Hey. That's an interesting one. Fancy this meat? Exactly. Uh, this is creepy. These cocoons are everywhere. We saw more of them above, but there's still a bunch here. Oh, <gasps> triple rings of light. A spell! There's lore in that spell! Ah, so this is Int and Faith. 
uh, just like a lot of the Golden Order Fundamentalists. I think all of them, all the Golden Order Fundamentalist stuff. Um, one of the incantations of the Golden Order Fundamentalists produces three rings of light and fires them forwards. The rings of light return to a position close to the caster before disappearing. This incantation can be cast repeatedly. A gift from the young Mikola to his father, Radigan. Interesting. So this is something that Mikola gave to his father. They exchange spells with each other. And interesting that that's what the Clean Rod Knights use. Something different, but still. Uh oh. Is that a putrid avatar over there? Nicholas skips Mother's Day? Yeah, it's a little weird. Maybe. Maybe they were busy having girl time, Merica and Melania? A little weird, but okay. You know? This is a really weird one. Because like this this leads to like a secret. So it'd be weird. I don't know. I don't know. Newman's room. I'ma fight you. I don't have many souls, it's fine. Yeah, that's a big freaking drop. It's part of where the water is too. Oh my god. You know, I let it happen. I was like, I can get the repost! I forgot it's a putrid one, and the putrid ones are particularly mean. Oof. I still feel like there's some there's some also Elphiel sounds like a like an angel's name, doesn't it? Like a like a biblical angel name. Um, you know, there's some weird stuff going on here with, like, Radigan and Marika and Melania and Mikola. Like, I'm- I'm seeing it. I just don't quite know where it goes yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you- y'all busy exploding? Or, like, what's going on with that? Ivory Drape Tabard. Seen it before, but, you know, any outfit is good for lore. Worn by foot soldiers sworn to the hallowed tree. It's prettier than the others, at least. Maybe down there. Can't see what side the door is on. That's deeper than the water. Like, we should be hitting water. Oh my god. Why? I'm like standing on it. I'm defying gravity, chat! I love this. I love how you can literally just be... Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Alright, let's beat this putrid avatar dingus. Busy as well. Yeah, dude, that guy was like... I didn't realize he was gonna blow. I don't know why I enjoy that so much. Did like no damage, but whatever. Oh god. Oh, oh dear. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, I just realized that's gonna be hard to deal with on this little bridge. Is that a little platform? A little pla <gasps> What's down there? Look, there's stuff down there, chat! There's a whole thing! Did you see that? Oh my god! There's like there's like a, a, a forest! I'm 
thinking really hard. I feel like my brain's occupied. There was a thing. Yeah, gravity always spoils things for me. Gravity is how I knew to keep exploring Godric's castle. So, you know, joke's on you, chat. Oh, Jesus. I'm just really big brain, you know? Finding secrets by dying. It's not my fault. Ew. Don't tell me the Knights of the Hallow Street were such jerks. I also love how the Clean Rot Knights move. Like how they're just like, you know? Like they're all fucked up. Like they're, you know, dying and shit, and then they're like beastly as hell. They remind me of something from the Souls game. They kind of remind me of Silver Knights. But they're not quite right, you know? They're spammy little fuckers, aren't they? Oh my god! Two weapons, faith, bleed. Please nerf Clean Rot Knights. Is that poise? Do you just have a lot of poise? Like, what is that? Oh! No. Don't spit at me. Oh my god. Whoa, terrifying, terrifying, terrifying. Yeah, we're going in deep right now. You want a hug? Oh! It's a really holy hug. Hug's so good, it makes you want to explode! Ooh, what's this? I want to go down there. I don't know that I should go there, like, right now, but I want to. So we're going to. This is the way. Okay, let's go down here, and then over here, and let's look for the gap to that elevator that I keep staring at. Oh, excuse me, sir. This is not Death Blight Town. This is the holy city or not welcome here? You're welcome to catch these uh, hands, though, if you want. This is scary. Oh no, another one. Wait, this should be it, right? In wall? Look at the iconography! It's like, uh, I've, I recognize that. What is that? That's so interesting. Oh, a thing! Aw, oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. You very gross, very vile, very gross. Thank you. I know, I know. F fuck off. Yeah, the thing is, uh, they look easy until they fucking spam me. It's a fucking wall, yeah. God damn it, you Sekiro fuck. They're the same as those stupid enemies in Sekiro, the ones that just like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, I should have just attacked him. I wanted to open the damn thing, but. Ugh. Reason I think Secure Deflection was once in this game. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think it's just a case of similar assets. I, I don't know that I want to go that far. I think it's a distinct chance. Honestly, like, really. This is so much interesting platforming. Oh, dang. Hello? What the heck? I love this. I love this. Well, I don't love this anymore. I think I'm okay. <gasps> Another seedbed curse for Dung Eater! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! That's big pog! That's a quest line right there, baby! Alright, we got a bunch of nerds here, though. We got two... Okay. I, 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 I already give up. 
I'm not fighting. Two scarlet rotted fucking crystallians. Three scarlet rotted crystallians. Thank you. Yeah, I did this boss fight already. I didn't like it. Ha! <laughs> Just dodge, Raph. Just dodge, by the way. I know. Go. Okay, go here and go. Go, 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 go. It's over here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're never going in there again. Ever. Ever. Where are you? I think uh, the technical term is hell. <sighs> We're just sprinting for it this time. I'm so glad I found that Seabed Curse. That is fucking hidden. You have to just take a certain path and do a weird jump, and there's no other way to get that? This is crazy. That's one of the benefits of dying, though. Wow, look at this beautiful room. <gasps> Marika Sword Seal! Oh my god! This legendary talisman is an eye engraved with an Elden Rune, said to be the seal of Queen Marika. Greatly raises mind, int, faith, and arcane, but also increases damage taken by a similar measure. Solemn duty weighs upon the one behold, and not unlike a gnawing curse from which there is no deliverance. And now we know they're kind of... the same. Did you get that room? Yeah, so the way in... The, you can get down here many ways, but you need to get the... you need to do a certain drop down to get the seedbed curse. It's a really great item, yeah. Um, I think I prefer Radigans. I'm not going to use either, though, because they are not good for my level, from what I understand. Like, the mathematics conclude that the higher level you are, the worse it is. Because, you know, the levels get less value and the damage is more, or whatever. Um, but either way, I'm glad to have it for lore and for just knowing where it is. Go away. God, these guys suck. I should have known he'd be spitting. Oh, yeah, dude. If you get caught in that, that's a GG. Oof. Oof. Are we rotted? Yeah, I got rotted by the Crystallians. Oh, my God. My work here is done. But you didn't do anything. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Alright, we're going straight to Dung Eater. You know what time it is. It's time for Dung Eating. Uh, well, you know, him, not us. It's time to... ...defile him. It's my favorite meme. I love that meme so much. Hi. Uh-huh, I got a sea bag curse for you, Dungy. This is, I think, the fourth one I've given him. Holy shit. <laughs> While this man just screaming in the background. I love it. I love it. <laughs> you good, Dungy? Hi. Dude, can you fucking do something interesting? How many sea beckers am I gonna have to put into your freaking chest cavity? Like, come on now. Come on now. One thing I'd like to do, I'd like to talk to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gold mask moved. Huh. There's only one reason I can think of Gold Mask would move, and it would be because of what happened in Lane Dell. So I hope I didn't mess up his quest, but we'll do what we can. I was gonna go check on him real quick. Seen Dung Eater's face? I have. I saw uh, Zuli's video where she reconstructed a bunch of the characters. Funny thing, I actually used those sliders to make my characters, but I altered them. So like a lot of my characters are based on in-game NPCs. Um. You know what, though? I'm gonna leave it off here. I am very sleepy today, chat. Um, and it's a good point. I think it's a good point to leave it off. Let's continue at LFIL. Um, I was thinking of some places that I, I... I think I'm gonna make a decision very quickly about Tanith. Soon. Um... 
I think I'm on track for Dong Eater. I'm just looking at my little list here. Melisent is the one that I'm worried about. I think she's gotta be somewhere up here. Or maybe she's in here. You know, maybe I missed her. Maybe she's even still back here. Maybe she went to the place that I found the... Uh, I found the prosthetic in. Maybe she moves up there. That would be weird, but I kind of want to check it over. Last time we saw Millicent. Last time we saw Millicent was by the Erd Tree viewing thing, and I gave her the prosthetic, and she moved. And I talked to uh, Gowrie, her weird dad. Um, and I was thinking maybe she's in here somewhere. Is Kitty Perry it? <sighs> Okay, I do want to ask a question. Yes or no answers only. Um, for Millicent, just to go, just to reiterate, um, I found her at the Erd Tree viewing gazing hill, and I gave her the prosthetic, and I have not seen her since. Uh, chat for those of you who know what I've done and know where I've been. Ha yes or no? Have I missed her? That's all I really want to know. Yes or no? Yes. No. Yes. Yep. Okay, that's not promising. So, perhaps she's, uh... Like, she's gotta be up here somewhere. I don't think she'd be in Lane Dell. Like, she said the land's north of the Erd Tree. So maybe she's in here somewhere, but what a... Like, maybe she's in... I don't know. Aw, oh, man. Kind of a bummer. Miss isn't fucked up the quest. Miss isn't walked by. That's that, you're right. I should I should double check. Lands about north of the Earth Tree. What the fuck? Hello? Uh, oh, you, you you again? A shame you had to see me like this. Oh, uh, I I had a bit of a slip up. That's all. I should have stuck to what I know best. No matter. I know I, I can trust you. Gullible, yes, but uh, a good soul. Make certain that Tanith gets this. What? Oh, it's, it's nothing, it's just... Makes me sick to see her all bent out of shape. On, Tanith, back on your high horse where you belong. Is he actually good? Is he? I literally came here randomly thinking Millicent would be here, ran back and forth down the hallway randomly, and just happened to find this Ningus. What? Castanets used by dancers from distant lands. And yeah, Tanith progress! Oh my god, I'm actually so happy. This is crazy. This is so weird. Dancers castanets. Castanets used by dancers from foreign lands, received from patches. The passionate dance comprises no seductiveness, but merely a dignified beauty. You're able then? Then? I can rest easy, my friend. <gasps> no, no. No, you're not- you're not dead. He's fine, he's moving. He's good, he's good, he's good. He's chilling, he's fine, he's fine. He's not dead. Not dead. Wow. Okay, I was expecting a lot of things. So, yeah, if- okay, everyone's in a really random spot. So, I think what we need to do is... I'm so glad that you're alive. What up, baby? I-, I this might be a bad idea. What is it? I have no need of that. What? I must Tanith? continue devouring my beloved lord. Tanith, wh why are you an owl s wh I don't think human heads are supposed to go 180 degrees backwards. Oh, you. Allow me some time. Wait. Really? Our lord's carcass is not- Wait, are you literally just gonna ignore my fucking dancer's castanets right now? Are you just like, fuck you, I don't need that? D did she take them? She did take. 
She did take. They're not here anymore, which means she did take. She's just like, bitch, I'm busy. Dear, I wish to be one day. Okay, we, we've heard that. Uh, this is weird. Hatches. <laughs> Patches, what did you give me? Alright, well better run back and forth down every other hallway now because, uh... You know, he's gone, so... That's good. What the heck is going on? Weeping Angel Bridge? Oh my god, I remember that arc. That was so good. Like, I knew he'd be gone. But it's just like to where, you know, at this point in time. Oh my god. Oh, this is real loud. No, no, no. Oh man. I did not mean to do that. Hey, maybe I did actually. Big brain, secretly. Weeping angels scared the shit out of me when I watched them back in the day. That was terrifying, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna explore now. Uh, Clean Rod Knight got deceased. I, I had no idea how big my brain is, as it turns out. <laughs> oh wow, so smart. That's why uh, human brains are better than AI. What a random place to be. Now I feel like I have to double, triple check everything. Millicent's always been near a bonfire, but then again, we've only seen her, I believe, twice. So, as a result, it's not promising. Millicent, not right now, no. I'm just gonna explore. She says that she's following in the footsteps of, uh... I believe directly she says she's following in the footsteps of Melania. So, that's promising, at least. Gave her the prosthetic, allowing her to do combat. Um, maybe we can- maybe we should go to, like, downstairs in the basement. Maybe she goes to the basement, like the Lake of Rot and stuff. That seems like a good place for her to be. But, like, a really weird place for her to be also. But, like, maybe. I don't know the intended order. She's immune to the Scarlet Rot. Um, but yeah, so I was thinking of a few different places we can check out for Millicent. Uh, also, frankly, now that I know that we'll just find people in random spots, you know? Also, we'll probably want to check back on Tanith. Maybe that did do something, maybe it didn't, you know? Maybe it's just- maybe that's for Patch's questline, not for Tanis. Both are possibilities. I don't remember who said this. It might have been here, it might have been on Twitter. Oh my god, I never went up here, hello? Wow, okay. Well, I'm glad I went up here. Uh, but someone- I think it was probably on Twitter. I don't really care what you- I can craft because I don't care, but it's still cool. Um, someone on Twitter, I believe, said, uh, that Dark Souls 2 feels like it was made with PvP in mind. Whereas in every other game, it's kind of been attacked on afterthought, and honestly, I really feel that way. Uh, for better or worse. Love just chatting me too. Yeah, basically, basically D DS2 feels like PvP was actually something they thought about when they made and designed the game, for better or worse. They, uh, they thought about, uh, versatility, uh, balance, weapon, viability, like, how many builds you can do, the, the flexibility, there's so many different things you can run in that game. And sure, there's always gonna be, like, the broken shit, you know? But in general, I really feel like Dark Souls 2, and not to mention all the covenants, there's so many covenants that circle around PvP. More so than in the other games. Maybe not more so, there's always a lot in DS1 and DS3. But like, think of something like the Rat Covenant. Um, then the Bellkeeper Covenant, and it all really narrows down to just being PvP. But you know. PvP Arena was DLC, uh, true, yeah. Game to launch with actual PvP Arena as well. Ah, good point, good point. 
Are since casting weapons? No, don't think so. So I see I missed a weapon in the swamp. Might as well go check it out. Or an item, I should say. I don't remember being down here. So... I should kill this guy. Uh, less ways to deal with it going rogue in the other games. Yeah, it's- there's- there's way more flexibility in DS2 in terms of builds. Like, there's so many different weapons and all of them are kind of viable. Versus, uh, in different categories versus in the others, it just kind of seems like you kind of got to use certain things. Like, can you- can you do whatever you want off meta with any of the games? Yeah, but is it gonna actually work in other games? Or is it just gonna be DS2 that it works in, kind of? Hmm. Hello? I don't remember you. I don't remember you at all. Huh. It's good to go over this area, I guess. Lower kind of ruined the good thoughts for PvP. At the same time, what I will say, like, while that, that is a very valid point, and I'm not a really big fan of Soul Memory either, like, I really am not, I don't like it, um, you have to run the ring. Which does suck. But you run the ring. There you go, a shortcut. Look at that. Oh. Weird. I can't believe I missed this whole spot. Um Four out of ten matches were close and fun as hell. Elden Ring seems like one in fifteen. What do you mean for uh like connection or because connection is a is a va very valid concern, but it, that seems to be at least hopefully temporary. We'll see. Elden Ring still needs to be balanced. I wasn't there for Dark Souls 2 release, and I've never really been there in terms of like the discussion. But having played all of the games and done PvP in all of them except for Dark Souls 1, um, <laughs> admittedly. Other than that, like, Dark Souls 2 just hits different. I'm talking to people who do PvP in these games, especially, you know, like, you'll hear people talk about, like, DS3 PvP, and the general consensus seems to be, like, it's pretty fucking horrible. I don't recommend it. That's basically- I've heard that a lot. There are literally people here who have been like, yeah, I don't know if you should get into PvP right now. It's pretty shit. <laughs> Um, all right, Soul Memory. I didn't finish Soul Memory. You wear the ring and it helps. That's about it. Also, it was made to fix a problem. It's one of the, it's one of From's classic issues of overcorrecting and kind of not getting it right. So it sucks, but you wear a ring and it's mostly solved. You just get into a range. Then again, they added uh, weapon level matchmaking in DS3, which I think is better. I think that's pretty fair. Sweet cream ice cream is just vastly inferior than vanilla. I don't know that I've had sweet cream ice cream. Bloodborne PvP for the feels. I love Bloodborne PvP, but it's kind of scuffed. You know? DS3 for PvE, DS2 for PvP. I think that's fair. Backstab the duel. Yeah, there's a reason I didn't touch Dark Souls 1 PvP. Rune level, weapon level, matchmaking seems to work pretty damned well. It does have its flaws. No way to combat Soul Memory. Oh, that's fair. That's very fair. Bloodborne PvP is so fun. Okay, here, here's my hot take on Bloodborne PvP, alright? Um, Bloodborne has the best PvP that no one's done. And that's a little bit of a multi-joke. It's a joke because, haha, you can't find any connections in the connection shit. And then it's, haha, no one does it because they just killed the Bell Maiden. It's honestly so crazy fun. Oh, I see what this is. Okay. Well, um, I've just kind of run around here. Let's go. Oops, I didn't realize my lamp was on because it was so dark. Let's go look for some other areas. Oliver Kuda character, it was glorious. Yeah. I really do like Bloodborne. And I love its PvP. It just doesn't provide the type of PvP that I'm interested in playing. Um, excuse me, there appears to be a painting over here? Wait, what? What the heck? <gasps> I think I know where this is, too. 
I can't believe I missed a bit. This area is crazy, huh? I, I went to the Shaded Castle and I went all over the place. And, uh, what? Oh my god, okay, I think I know where this is. So this is the Fringe Folk Hero's Grave. I keep calling them Fringe Folk, it's not. Uh, but it's the one at the top and it's where the lightning and the dragon. Let's go explore. Fucking game, I know. I'm to perfume stars because I get sensory overload. I can't even go near the Bath and Body Works in, in, in a, like, if I'm in a ball or something, can't even go near. Ugh, stinky. Reeks. Terrible. Um... Yeah, sorry, I know I'm missing some chat, but in general, I'm a big fan of PvP uh, in these games, and I like the concept of it, and I like the structure of it, and I like it for, for replayability and versatility and all that stuff. I think it's really unique, uh, and I like it to be implemented well. I think if I was, like, maining PvP in Dark Souls 2, it could be really annoying if that makes sense, but the way that I played it, just kind of casually delving in and hopping in and, and fucking around, and not worrying about cell memory, it was an absolute blast and a genuine joy. I know a lot of people didn't have that experience, right? Uh, a lot of people probably played the game since release and wanted to, and if they're PvPers, they wanted to keep playing it and then were kind of running into problems because of cell memory. So I, I think that's, I think that's a very fair perspective. I really like organically invading as I play from games. A lot more casual. Yeah, I've always been a little bit more of a casual invader. This is the first game that I've done actual- well, Bloodborne. Uh, this is almost the first game that I've done uh, actual dedicated builds. I did that for Bloodborne too. Um, but this one... I, I haven't even finished the game and I already have two builds and I, I want to work on more. Um... And I'd love to do, like, uh, I forget what they're called in this game, but, like, Taunter's Tongue Runs. I'd love to do that, where I play the game and, and get invaded organically and, you know, all that. I think it'd be really fun. Okay, so in the picture, you can see the flag is behind it. So it's this angle, but way further up. It's probably close to where the dragon is. Oh my god, I don't think we've been this close to the Elden Tree. That's scuffed. That's terrifying. Okay, so let's look here. But there, it's very clear. So there can't be any trees in the way. So it's got to be way up here. There it is. Not bad at all. Hello. Harp bow? Wait, what? I still have this equipped just for funsies. I have to see what that looks like. That looks like something out of like an MMO for like a bard. I love this. What the heck? Bow fashioned from a minstrel's harp, sonorous tones still resound when firing arrows. Troubadours sing tales of champions both in the honorable service of the Erd Tree and the one who spurns honor for blasphemy. It's a little smaller. I hoped it would be bigger. I don't have any arrows equipped? I guess I don't. I only have bolts equipped, understood. It actually plays. I was hoping it would actually make a sound. When <laughs> it does. That's real. I'm keeping that equipped as long as I have the spot. That's super cute. I like that so much. I'm glad we double checked. Wow. That's super nice. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's crazy. Okay. Um. Well, as much as it kind of sucks to have to go back and forth and back and forth, let's, uh, let's look around a little. For some of our NPC friends. I, I want to go back and talk to Tana and see if she has any different dialogue now. Weapon art do? I should double check. Probably just standard. Barrage, it's just a barrage of blast. Oh, we should see if it uh, makes a cool sound though, actually. Okay, ready? It's so like out of tune. 
That's crazy. Hey, Tanith, you, you want to use your dancer thingies? Oh, you allow me some our lords. Figured. Let's go back to Volcano Manor and see what's up with this. I mean, it has been used as a bow, so make sure it's out of tune. Riddle hint for Millicent if you end up wanting it. Okay, thank you, Jake. I will keep that in mind. Also, where is her Crucible Knight? Feels a little weird that they have this Crucible Knight here. Uh, and you can't attack here, so there's no way to kill her. Or aggro her, even. So, like, he's gotta be around, right? Like, you know? I don't think he'd go back to the manor. I don't think anyone would go back to the manor. Oh, I never went over here. Well, oh my god, it scared me. <laughs> Raft pluration stream. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, is there anything that inherently has? Okay, nothing I have inherently has bl uh, bloodhound step on it. I think so. We're just gonna we're just gonna put the dagger on for quick step. It's not too bad, I think. I wasn't smart. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. How could you kill the pot bros after all that you've seen? I don't know, man. I think my heart's just shattered after everything that I've lost in this game. <gasps> Are you an enemy? Sorry. Wait, are they not gonna attack me? Unless I attack them? Maybe they're my friend, because I have the living- I have the thing on. Smoldering shield! Wow, new thing. Smoldering shield. Small shield made upon Mount Galmir forged from uncooling lava. Resists frost with its heat and can even be used to deal fire damage if wielded as a weapon. Killed one pot, we all know the one- yeah, I- I- my heart is a little broken over that. It's the most in my feelings I've ever been for a FromSoft quest. And that's not to say that I'm not in my feelings often. It, if anything, it just hit different. Literally just think it's the time. I have to keep looking for items. I know. I, I feel like we need an Elden Ring bingo card. Remember Bloodborne bingo? I feel like we need an Elden Ring bingo card. I think one of them is you can... You can... You can... You can, uh, hang on. What would be on the Elden Ring bingo card? Some of it can be shit that I do, some of it can be shit that chat does. I feel like that's fun. Dog? Dog is definitely one. Uh, I would definitely put you can sort by order of acquisition, because I think every single time I have my inventory, <laughs> it comes up and it makes me laugh. Um, what about... That's another good one. Parrying? Maybe parrying in general. I'm parrying me. Try finger behold. I like it. What's up in your box? No one said that to me. Together! Together is a good one. Mo complaints about Moonvale. I like complaints about Moonvale. Sorry, so much clutter? Let me show you my inventory. Do you like it? Look at it. Look at how hot it is. Do you like my inventory? you like how many short swords I have? Like that, like that. Look at how messy it is, look at how unordered it is, look at how chaotic it is, you like that? Ooh, do you like that? Okay, so I need to go upstairs. It's a big health bar? That That's a good one, actually. We do get a lot of, that's a big health bar. What's your vigor, 100? You know, if you didn't have a hundred vigor, then this game would be a lot harder. It's only because you have a hundred vigor, this game's easy. Yeah, true. Huh. It's kind of a big jump. Can I make that? I don't think I can make that. Can you, you can't ride torrent here. Where's the shot? Uh, got it from a thrift shop. Oh, you easily can. Wow. See, the depth perception is really weird in this game. Sick. Okay. Well, I'm comfortable with that. I feel like we explored everything. Okay, let's think about... Wait, no. That doesn't make sense. I don't think that she'd be in Kaelid. I don't think she'd be in Kaelid. I was thinking a couple... Sorry, that, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> I was thinking that maybe um, Millicent is in Kaelid. 
Um, because it's where she, yeah, she starred in the Kaled, right? But, you know, what if she went back because she now has her prosthetic? But that doesn't seem like good, it doesn't seem, it doesn't, you know? Okay, uh, I don't think you'll have anything new. I haven't progressed Millicent since I talked to you last. Okay. <sighs> Alright, but there's two places I want to check and it doesn't really make much sense, but I want to do it anyway. Whomst do you talk about again? Respond to Blade Dancing Among the Scarlet Rod. See, I don't know who he's talking about. I don't know if it's O'Neill. I don't know if it's if it's Millicent, because she invades right ahead of here. Could very well be Melania, because Melania like this is the heart of Aeonia. This is like where the attack happened, I think. This is, this is where, in fact, if you look at this, I don't want to talk about it too much because unfortunately I know a few things from A, the trailer, and B, PvP. I think I can see some interesting stuff going on here. We know that she's following in the tracks of Melania. Well, that's fucking interesting, isn't it? Interesting. Okay, so here's the thing. You know, I can actually narrow it down a little bit, I think, now that I think about it. Um, we've been to pretty much all of Altus several times. I want to check this real quick. I, I don't know why. I don't know why. Some of it is in for I even realize there's no actual chat she's talking with. Yeah, no, I like I enjoy that too. Like I enjoy commentary. Although that was easy, I was like, oh, what the fuck? I have no idea. I, you want to know why I came here? You want to know why? Because you're going to be like, you definitely looked this up. You want to know how? I looked at this and I'm like, what the fuck did you ever do in the Windmill Village? What was the fucking point of the Windmill Village? Why is there a bonfire this here? Is this is dumb. I'm going to go check it out. And she's here! Dude, I actually feel like I'm psychic today. This is actually improving my mental status. This is actually improving my mental status. 100%. Like, I feel like I, I'm, I'm leveling up my mental health as, as we find an NPC every fucking time. I have no idea why. I just decided. I was about to, I was literally about to be like, well, I've checked everywhere in Altus, so let's like go to Lane Dell. And then I was like, but have we checked everywhere in Altus? Oh, baby. No hints needed. Let's go. And she looks great with the prosthetic, by the way. Ah, we meet yet again. The arm you gave me truly is a thing of wonder. It feels just like my own. Even handling a sword. Perhaps it is foolish to say this to you of all people, but I am sure of my skill with the sword. Thus, I would have you call upon me in battle, should you ever have the need. Okay. I would have you call upon me in battle. It is the only way that I can express my thanks. I have a bad feeling about this one, chat. Because normally when they say something like that, that means you gotta summon them, and I'm running low on bosses probably, maybe, possibly. We'll find I out. Would have you call upon me. It we is are gonna summon her the next time we see her as an available option, uh, because we love her. I've transcended, it's true, chat. I've moved beyond. I've moved beyond. Okay, rest to Reno. She's gone! Perfect. Okay, quest progression achieved. So that's good. Here's the problem, though. Where the fuck would she go now? I don't know what the answer to that is. Let's just start teleporting places. On um, bosses, there are a billion ref. Yeah, no, I should clarify. I should clarify. Hi, Rez. Uh, I should clarify that I meant running low on bosses that she probably has anything to do with. You know what I'm saying? Grab someone's phantoms while playing Elden Ring on easy mode. Wait until I uh, summon my mimic tier next time for, for that dialogue. <laughs> Spin it down and see what direction it points in. At this point, that's probably the best. However, she did progress. So let's 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 look. She started here or like or like around here, whatever. I know like here, like here. Where where where? Hang on, where? Here, <laughs> here, and then she went all the way over here. And she went all the way over here. So if you triangulate the point of progression... I don't know. Knock all the areas in the game? I don't know. I can't answer these questions. These are not questions that I'm capable of ask answering on a first playthrough. I'm sorry to tell you. Like, there's literally no way, like, how... Like, how... 
you know. Recalculating. Yeah, I'm basically like a Google Maps right now. Like, just like... Okay, but so far they've all been near the bonfire. You know? Why the fuck was she there? It's so random. God, they really are random with this shit. I'm trying to logic it out. I'm trying to logic it out. Let's, let's, let's... I have a plan. Is it a good plan? I don't know. We're going for it, though. We are gonna go explore all this spots. Let's start... Well, Landell scares me a little bit. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't want to go to Landell. Okay. I really wanted to check if maybe... Millicent is, like, toward the path to the Forbidden Lands, right? Melina's cool as heck. I know, I haven't fought her yet. I still haven't fought her. Um, I know she's in the game, obviously. I, I don't know, I'm really excited. The Valkyrie mom. I know, I can't wait for her to step on me and beat me up. I've also heard a lot of people complaining about her. Um, I also heard a lot of people complaining about Radon. I I'm, I'm just behind everybody, I feel, so, like, when people were complaining about Radon, I hadn't fought him yet. And now people have been complaining about Melania for a while and I haven't fought her yet. So I will eventually and soon, hopefully. I'm looking forward to making my own opinions on it. But uh, people complain a lot about um, Lawrence as well. And he's like my favorite boss. So it could be. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I think Radon is required. Is Radon not required? He has a rune. Isn't he one of the required runes? I guess he could not be. You don't have to go to Nokron. He's not? I thought he was required. Well, this is just like that meme I made. Remember the meme that I made where it's like, um... Uh... <laughs> me talking about lore even though I'm 25% done the game and have no idea what I'm talking about? Once again. You know? Two runes for us to grapple. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I thought he was required for some reason. Hasn't beaten the game, is already thinking, talking about what's required. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. I shouldn't really be talking about this anyway, because it's just like, just waiting for something. Spoilery, but it's my own fault, really. I just like thinking out, out loud, chat. Okay, I'm a little scared of this area. Just... What is that sound? Oh, is that all? You know, it's funny that it says Ashen Capital because this spot was, spot was always kind of buried in ash. Interesting. God, these guys are kind of cute, aren't they? Aren't they kind of cute? Oh, there's a shiny down there. I just realized that that's way too high of a drop. I don't know why I did that. I don't- I, I don't- I don't know why I did that. Why would I do that? It's so weird. It's a terrible decision. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna just commit to the fact that quite possibly... Hopefully... Maybe... Millicent will not be far from Bonfire. They have not been far from Bonfire so far. In love with the Earth Tree? He was just devoted to it? Let me- let me have my crack lore, okay? Oh my god, let's go! What up, baby? To think we'd meet in such a place. What could your purpose possibly... No. I know well enough who you are. And what I know is good enough GG for me. first try. Call upon me again. In battle. Should you have the need. Okay, so that dialogue makes you think we maybe don't have to summon her. I'm searching for a fort to the north of the ruins. I heard the master of the fort was given a medallion that allowed him to visit the Halig tree. Indeed, I believe that is where Melania will be found. The Halig tree is hidden somewhere in these northern lands. What did I fucking say? What did I fucking say? Let's go! I was just three steps ahead of the game, alright? It's not my fault the game has to catch up. Catch up? I don't know what that was with my mouth. 
I'm searching for a fort to oh, the baby. the ruins. I heard the mob. And she gone. Oh baby, take me to Castle Soul. Although, do we want to double check the other spots? Because you never know. <laughs> Should probably be a Castle Soul. Okay, we got to look around a little better. Yeah, it's just her dialogue immediately made me think of Lucatil. Uh, but then there was that whole line about um, some me again, right? Lord Mikola, forgive me. The sun has not been swallowed. Our players were lacking. So I really wonder what's up with this. Comrade remains soulless. Interesting. Uh, the sun has not been swallowed. They wanted to trigger an eclipse with their prayer somehow. Comrade remains soulless. So my eyes upon now your divine halic tree. So he wants to go to the halic tree. Comrade. I, I don't know who, what any of this is, frankly. That's a little bit confusing and I'm not sure. Let's do a walkthrough of Castle Soul. Although, let's let's do this. We're going to run all the way around to the front. Get to uh, get to Castle Soul and then do a quick run through of it to make sure she isn't anywhere in there. There's also a chance that if you already have the item, she skips that step and ends up going to... No, I, I should be more thorough. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go to the Freezing Lake. No, Freezing Lake isn't... We're just gonna check a few bonfires. She's always there. She's always there. <laughs> what are you talking about? Millicent! Let's go, baby! Again we meet. I can only surmise our purposes are aligned. In which case, allow me to explain myself. I am of Melania's blood, but in what capacity, I know not. I could be sister, daughter, or an offshoot. Whatever the case, though, I am certain of a kinship between us. So if Gowry's right, then you're her daughter. There is something I must return to Melania. The will that was once her own. The dignity. The sense of self that allowed her to resist the call of the Scarlet Rot, the pride she abandoned, to meet Radan's measure. Interesting. You know what? I'm actually getting... I have this theory that... Or not theory. A, a link between Maria and Melania in terms of, like, lore and story. I get the feeling that Maria was this proud warrior who didn't want to use blood ability because she didn't have... She didn't need it, so she used, like, her skill, raw skill. It actually says in the description for her, for the Rikuyo, that this weapon requires a lot of skill to use, like, literal dexterity. And she found blood, blood tinge and, like, using blood distasteful. Um, yeah, Maria from Bloodborne, to be clear. So Maria, um, when she fights us, actually uses blood. Um, she, when she gets desperate... She uses it. So her what is more important to her is protect it. You get a lot from her character in that boss fight. She is so desperate to protect the fishing hamlet from any interlopers and any further damage from hunters that she gives up everything in order to protect it, including her distaste of blood, which is why she uses... Um, I keep calling it blood magic. People hate it when I call it blood magic. Whatever. She uses blood abilities during the fight in phase two. And then in phase three, she upgrades and uses fire, which more lore. Point is, she's willing to do what it takes for her convictions in the end, even if it requires abandoning her pride. Similarly, it sounds like Melania needed to do that in order to beat Radon, or stalemate Radon, whatever. Um, so it's kind of interesting. That or the nightmare is forcing her to use it as punishment. Could be, but she does use it herself, but only when she starts losing. Um, it both are interpretations, but I think it's interesting that she's willing to do anything to protect her. There is something I must return to Melania. The will that was once her own. The dignity. The sense of self that allowed her to resist the call of the Scarlet Rot. Interesting. Really interesting. So we finally caught her up with us. Now, 